What's going on? You got it with you guys to the channel. Well, big dog back with another one take review. And today I got one for True Story starring Kevin Hart and Wesley Snipes. Now, quick synopsis about this. Uh, <laughs> a tour stop in Kid's hometown, Kid, played by Kevin Hart, a uh, hometown of Philadelphia becomes a matter of life and death for one of the world's most famous comedians. It's, pr it's a set. Uh, now, I'm nothing more, you guys. I'm definitely going to give spoilers for this. It's essentially about. Kevin Hart's character uh, thinking that he killed the young lady and his brother trying to help him cover it up and they get involved with some some what do you call people from Greece Greasians that is not what you call them that is not what you call them but nonetheless he get involved with some more people and then he just pretty much go to shit so then it becomes kind of like this crying thing, and it's still funny because like Kevin Hart's naturally funny, but like also there's stuff that's just over the top. You and you watch like, but I, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I think I think I I was debating watching it, but like I, I like I kind of just forgot about it, and then I walked in the living room and everybody was sitting around watching. I'm just like. Oh, I guess I'm not going to be the only person just, like just sitting in the room the whole time. Let me watch it too. And then I watch it and we I really got into it. I'm like, damn, this, this is actually good. Okay. So essentially, uh, Kevin Hart and his brother, played by Whistler Snipes, they have like kind of a rocky relationship. You know, uh, you kind of feel like the envy and a little, little bit of jealousy from like Wesley Snipes' character and everything about how big of a star his brother is and how everybody like works with the grind that he walks on and everything. And, but at the same time, he's still a person who's borrowing money from him because he's trying to be successful in his own right. He's trying to find something where he can be successful in, where he can make some money in. But like he's still having those problems, you know? So the, the story pretty much can, uh, continues until one night they go out to celebrate. Kevin Hart is six months sober. His brother... Gets him to take a drink. Granted, like, hey, still, still grown man. You probably shouldn't have did it no way. But like, you get him to take a drink. Bring some girls around. He's drinking. Next thing you know, Kevin Hart passed out drunk. And wakes up the next morning with a girl laying in his bed who he believes is dead. And now we got to show, people. We got to show. The girl is dead. They got to get rid of the body. Kevin Hart doesn't want to call the police because, they, I mean, the ambulance because they call the ambulance. The police show up. They think like, oh, you done drunk. This girl, you're going to jail. Your career is done. So, like, listen, when you're thinking, when you're panicking and you're thinking about all the things that you got and what, you, I mean, you're black. Okay, I'm sorry. There's a dead girl in your room. You, you're panicking a little bit okay and yeah feel it i don't know much about feeling but it seemed like the police what well, they kind of painted is like the police are pieces of shit which most of the places they are no offense to any but police out there who might be watching this video but hey man you know the pretty much the rap you guys got now now i'm just saying or been had but yeah there we go we continuing with it and he's trying to his brother's trying to help him and then they bring in another guy now the whole thing about this is that kevin Hart's brother Wesley Snipes' character owes some money to some people for a restaurant. They were they were on this silent investors. He owed them six hundred bands. Okay, so the whole thing is excuse me. I'm sorry. The whole thing is that we're gonna get Kevin Hart to pay this money to get this body cleaned up. But the guy comes through and he tries to extort Kevin Hart not for six hundred grand. He tries to get him for six million. Okay. Over the course of a year, he was gonna get five hundred thousand a month. Okay, but Kevin, you know what Kevin Hart said? Kevin Hart said, I'm tired of people trying to push up on me, thinking they could do what they want to do. So he killed him. He killed the damn dude. He killed Ari, the Greece guy who works for the other Greek bo Greece bo Greek. Greek? I think that's the word I'm looking for. Why do I keep saying Greek? Greece and Greek aren't the same. Nonetheless, he ended up killing the guy, and the guy, and it was, that's a bad idea. So then he calls his brother. He's just like, yeah, I have to kill him. Sucker trying to play me. So he got, so he, in Kevin Hart's mind, this guy got rid of the body. He just, he was the only other person who knew about, you know. So I killed him. Cool, I'm in the free. But at the same time, there were always more and more things piling up, okay? More and more things piling up, and, and this this one this one I think the show kind of picks up and just get wildly entertaining because 
you're having to deal with a lot of things. There's a lot of stuff on this guy's plate. He thinks he killed the lady. He killed the guy. Has to get rid of that body. He's still having to deal with his brother. And there's constantly things going on. You have my boy Gene who's on this case. He's dealing with his baby mama and his son. Not They have a good relationship. It's just... Hey, he's not really around, you know. He's out doing his own tour. You know, he don't really have time to do a lot of things, like fatherly things that he would want to do. Hey, he got a movie that's coming out. We have a movie that's out, and people are looking at that. And so he's trying to broker deals with that. Like his his manager's on his ass because he's he seems to be off his game. His 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 one of his uh, writers. She's not giving him great material. It's a lot of stuff going on in this man's life. And it's getting very, very stressful. And it's taking a toll on him. And then he snaps on one of his biggest fans. He knows the guy. The guy knows him, but he snaps on him. You know, the guy catches on camera because he records everything. Now, in this situation, I wasn't mad at Kevin Hart. I'm like, dude. Like you know, I, I'm sorry. I understand you. You're my biggest fan. Thank you. I appreciate you. But bitch, I can have a bad day, and today is one of those days. Leave me alone. I told you I'm gonna talk to you another time. You've seen me multiple times. You know who I am. But why would you? He not only did Gene, the guy, get the video, he posted it. So I'm just like, what the hell, man? With it? And then we start have this tangle. We just we start getting tangled in a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, we have his brother still dealing with these people, the uh, Greek people, in which they're looking at him like, hey, what the hell is our brother? He's coming up with story like, man, y'all brother really didn't rock with y'all. To be honest, like, what's the snipes is really good in this? He a piece of shit. Don't get me wrong, he is a piece of shit of a person in this movie. And, like, Kevin Hart's trying his best to, like, you know, be there for him and tell him, like, yo, man, you, you my brother. You know what I'm saying? I, don't, I ain't tripping off, like, none of that stuff people say. Another, you my brother. He just, he just couldn't help but be a piece of shit to him still. So I'm just watching and I'm just, I'm just wildly entertained. Now, don't get me wrong, people. I feel like anybody who watched any of this movie know exactly what's going to happen all throughout from A to B to C to D. Okay, from beginning to the end, I think you pretty much can predict a lot of things that are going to happen. It may not be exact. You may not be on the nose with every single thing, but I think for the most part, you would pretty much guess where things are going as far it's like uh, the, the the girl not actually being dead. I'm like, bro, you didn't even check the body. You just got up. Your brother need like what's what's new? His brother needed money. You knew that she wasn't actually dead. Uh, I thought Ari was actually an actor though. I did get that wrong. Um, like I knew eventually, Kev was gonna see the girl eventually again. Daphne or Simone, whatever the hell name she used. Same thing Kevin Hart said. So I'm just like, all right, cool. And he kept it away from his 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 manager. He kept it away from his bodyguard. Uh, who uh, listen? Shout out to Lala from Black uh, Black Lightning. Shout out to him. He's in he's in a lot of other stuff too. But uh, when he tried to extort Kev, not even extort him, but he, like tried to like, hey, tell Kev, I uh, that six million you was gonna give them, I want that. I want to give him a damn thing. The one time you were supposed to protect me, bitch, you got shot. Okay? I'm talking about like we got to the climax of the, of, of the show. Kale's running. Uh, 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 Wesley Snipes running. They running from the, uh, the, the Greek people trying to get the hell away. You turn around up that rod and get hit. You don't even... What, what good... At what point... Were you good at your job? He said, if you don't want me to continue to protect you, I need to see. Bitch, I have to protect myself. I caught three bodies. As a matter of fact, I done caught four. How many you got? None. That's how I mean. So I went out. I'm like, bro, the lady, you know what happened to the last person who tried to get $6 million from me and I didn't want to pay that shit? Yeah. He ended up in a dumpster. What are you talking about? I'm just like, okay. But I was wildly entertained, though. I thought it was fun. You know what I'm saying? And, and I thought Kevin Hart was great. I think Kevin Hart gets, like, a bad rap for, like, his his acting and shit. Which, like, I'm just like, I think because we know who he is, 
if we don't never take them serious, it kind of sucks. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't feel like some other like comedic actors get the same shit. And I think Kevin Hart's good. Okay, I think I, I think is it, is it the upside? I think it's the upside. I think he was really good. I think he was really good in that. I thought he was good in this. Like there were some moments where he, you know, sometimes everything he doesn't, you know, pull off well. But for the most part, I think he was. Really good in this. And Wesley Snipes played his role fantastically because he just played like a bad older brother. You know, when Wesley Snipes got my boy Gene Kia, I was messed up. Y'all, that was pretty messed up. Okay. Uh, that that right there was pretty messed up. Like, he even, like, yeah, he had nothing on him. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, the, the, the Greek guys had really had nothing on him. Of course, he was... They were suspicious of him and everything, but I'm just like, damn, bro, like, what are you, what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? I thought that was, like, super messed up. So, when he killed his brother, I'm just like, I would have popped him, too. Like, first of all, I want to kill this dude if it wasn't for you. You tried to finesse me out of 600 bands, which was going to eventually, which was going to turn into six mil. Like, I keep giving you chance after chance, and you just... Mess up even more. Am I my brother's keeper? Yes, I am. So, but like sometimes you gotta, you know, you gotta take care of, you gotta take care of people. Oh, Kevin Hood, Kevin Hart was also phenomenal in uh, Fatherhood. I thought he was great in that. What the hell is that damn movie? The Upside. It was Upside. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I I enjoyed this show a lot. I think a lot of people are. Uh, or just, you know, gonna look at it. It's like, oh, Kevin Hart, you know, it's probably, or, or or just kind of like gonna write write it off, you know. But don't get me wrong, it's not it's not the greatest thing, but I think I was entertained enough. I regardless of how predictable everything was, I think Kevin Hart and Wesley Snipes did a good enough job at entertaining me to where that didn't bother me too much. You know, so uh, you guys let me know what y'all thought about it down in the comments. Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys stay safe and catch up to you guys later.